great college football game. Uh, credit to BYU. I thought they uh, played a hell of a football game under Kalani. Uh, kids played extremely hard, uh, and they made one more play than, a, than we did tonight. Um, you know, any times that you have three turnovers to the other team's none, and you're on the road, that's going to put you in a hole. And uh, tonight we came up one play short of getting out of that hole. Uh, I love how the kids keep fighting uh, and keep competing. This is one game early in the season. We'll correct it, uh, and we'll move on to the next one. This is going to be a special team, mark my words, because there's special kids on this team, and they're learning with every snap. Um, and um, I'm proud of them, and uh, I look forward to the next opportunity to compete. With that, uh, we'll take any questions that you got. What did you see on the read on that last pass? What did you see on Keaton's read? Um, we'll have to watch it on tape. It was a spacing play uh, to try to hit one of the voids, um, and uh, we'll have to be able to see uh, it, where it was. Uh, my, my gut tells me they went strong rotation. I think the backside might have be a little bit more open, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. The team for this year for you guys has been so what now. Yeah. Is this the kind of game you can say so what after? I mean, uh, no question. That's what I told them in there. That's what I told them in there. This team is built for this, you know, to have adversity and then overcome it. And um, this is a non-conference game early in the season that we'll have to dig our way out of. Um, we, we got a big game next week uh, again, uh, and just like this one was uh, against another great Utah team. And we uh, don't have any time to soak. It's Friday night, so we've got to get on this plane and we've got to get right back to work tomorrow morning. Clay, I know you talked a lot about maturity and yeah. the end of this game. Yeah. As you look back at, at the game now, how do you evaluate your team's mentality, I guess? I, I think they're tough to sack, to be honest with you, because you have two early turnovers in the red zone. And they, and they only get 10 points out of that. We were able to create one of those stops and then get it back to a 17-17 ball game at halftime on the road. Um, you know, get up uh, get up in the second half, and then they make a couple plays, and we make a couple plays, and we find ourselves in overtime. And I uh, thought the defense did a really nice job on the first series in overtime, and we had the opportunity to close the door, and you know what, the ball bounced the wrong way. And uh, that happens sometimes in, in football. How much did those? In overtime, after the first play, you go for a loss. Why run again when you need 11 to convert? Uh, to get a third and manageable, um, a third and manageable, which it did. You know, you went from second and ten to third and five, uh, and. Uh, um, thought it was a nice run by the kid. Thought it was a good play call by Gray. And, you know, instead of putting the kid in, and all of a sudden you miss a pass and you get you know a third and ten situation along. Um, you know, he got he got it to a manageable distance, and um, um, that's all you can ask for is you try to get half on second down and then complete the third down um, and, and get the first. But we, we didn't get that done. How much did the two early interceptions change the game plan and what you wanted to call? Um, you know, I thought Graham did a nice job because, as you saw tonight, it was a ton of drop eight, um, trying to force the run game, and we end up, I think, with 170-plus uh, yards uh, on the night. Um, uh, you know, and it, it was one of those where they were going to force the issue there, um, had some RPOs, uh, and were able to get a deep ball shot. Corners were playing deep, and we caught him in a – Caught him in a little bit of a, um, a tempo play where the corner kind of fell asleep, and uh, Pitt was able to get by him and make a heck of a catch. I thought he had him again. Uh, I thought he had him again. I look forward to seeing the call on the pass interference. Um, but uh, um, it was uh, one of those games. It didn't go our way. We'll have to rebound again next week. Michael, did you get an explanation on that pass interference? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so refs. Um, they don't really like to like explain, so we just got to keep playing. So they just threw it, and we just next play. Michael, did you think you got your foot down on that third and six or whatever they got? Um, of course, yes, but uh, obviously they didn't say so, so that's all it meant. Clay, obviously with some of the events this week, there's a lot of noise around the team. How do you think your team handled that? And also, I'm guessing that with this loss, there might be some more noise, you know, coming up. How do you make sure your guys are going to stay on course? We don't worry about noise. We live in Los Angeles, California. There's a ton of damn noise, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's every day. Uh, uh, what we have to focus on is our job and doing our job and winning the next game. Um, you know, I thought our kids prepped extremely well, um, and uh, they practiced their tails off this week. Um, and, you know, I, I hurt for them, to be honest with you, because they, they invested a lot in it. And we, we made some mistakes today that lose you a ball game on the road. We've got to correct them. We've got three pretty good ones coming up. 
uh, that we're going to have to make corrections and uh, move on. You think with having Utah next that it could actually refocus the team a lot quicker because obviously they're the favorite? Yeah, we, we don't have time. I mean, to be honest with you, we're going to get on a plane and get back, and you know we've got to go to work tomorrow to, to watch this tape, clean it up, put in a new game plan, and get ready for a full pack practice on Monday. You know, so it, it's not a lot of time to feel sorry for yourself, and that's what everybody was saying in there. Hey, it's one game. We got to correct it and, and move on. Uh, we're planning on doing big things this season. And it's early in the season, and uh, I like I like this football team, and I like these kids, and I like their mindset. Um, that they, they want to do great things, and they're going to. You went to you went to Marquis step late. After he had those three big carries early, why not go back to him more sooner after that? He did a nice job. He put the ball on the ground one time, and, and that's where he's got to learn in, in these type of games. It's a violent game, and uh, we we're fortunate to get the ball back. But, you know, he had nine carry, he had nine carries tonight for 53 yards. I thought he did a great job on the third and short situations, even the fourth and short situations, and trusting the kid in, the, in, in that arena. Uh, and he did a nice job. I thought uh, all three backs um, uh, competed. And, uh, made their plays. Jay, it seemed like you guys had some trouble uh, wrangling in the quarterback. What, what was the problem there? Or what was he doing maybe that you guys weren't necessarily ready for? Um, you know, it was a great, uh, it was a great football play. You know, we were just rushing that lane, but you know, they got one up on us. Um, hey. Raw today. Where was Amon Ra? I don't know if he got targeted. Yeah, yeah, you know they they allowed us to get on the outside some. And, you know, you look at your two leading receivers and. And it was mostly on the outside. They played a lot of cover three. Uh, it was drop eight uh, up underneath and uh, filling a lot of those voids. We actually tried to move them outside a couple times uh, in 12 personnel. Um, but, you know, as you've seen in each game, and it's what I like about the offense, is there's been a leading receiver in each game. Rob was it last game. You know, Tyler was it in game one. Pitts hit in game, in game three. Um, it's hard in this offense to just focus on, on one guy. Um, and... Uh, that's, that's what my feel is as we go through the year, is you're going to have a time where it is Amon Ra, then it's Tyler, and then it's Pitt. It's about what the defense gives us and, and being able to take what they give us. Okay, thanks, guys. All right, guys.